Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk all about Book of the Month as well as to show you their May selections. This video is sponsored by Book of the Month, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I love Book of the Month. This video is going to be all about that. So if you don't know what Book of the Month is, they are a monthly book subscription. They are always new releases and sometimes you can even get early releases. Like you can get a book that's not going to come out for a month or two from Book of the Month, which is pretty amazing. They always release their selections on the first of every single month. So how it works is you get to pick one of the five monthly Book of the Month selections and it'll be shipped right to your door. In addition to buying one of the featured monthly selections every single month, you can add, if you want to, two other featured books, whether it be from this month, whether it be from past Book of the Month selections, they even pick some YA ones as well. You can pick any one of them as long as they're on the site and they can be used as add-ons to your monthly purchase. So Book of the Month is totally up to you. What I mean by that is that it's customizable. They do five selections every single month on the first, like I said, Said, but you pick what book you want. If you want to skip that month, that's totally fine as well. There's no additional cost. Say you find the five selections, you're like, I'm not really in any of these. You can go ahead and skip it and then your credit will be redeemed for the next month after that. In addition, if you have a month where you can't find any books, say the next month after you find two books, you can use the credit from last month that you saved and then use your credit for the current month. It's just, I love book of the month because you're in control. You pick what books you want and it's just a great way to do it. I've loved Book of the Month for a while. As you can see, my stack here, a lot of them are on loan right now to my friends, but the stack's much bigger. And I just really enjoy them. I have found some of my favorite reads from them, and I also love how many different genres they feature every single month. It's not going to be five romance every month or five, you know, sci-fi. They use a plethora of genres every single month. So if you like a certain genre, chances are you're going to find that every single month within Book of the Month. I also really love how they feature a lot of debut authors because sometimes it's hard to find debut authors and things like that. Book of the Month always really features that. And they also usually give you early releases. Like I said, there's some books I've gotten from Book of the Month that don't come out for a month or two and I feel like so lucky that I get to read it early. So it's just Book of the Month has so many great incentives for you to join. So in full transparency, I love Book of the month and would wholeheartedly recommend it. Like I said you can cancel it anytime, you can skip a month. It's just a great way to try different genres to find just new books that maybe you've never even heard about. So moving on to the price of Book of the Month, which I think is also really, really great. The price for one book a month is $15 with shipping, and I think that's great because honestly, hardback, especially adult books, are very, very pricey. So to get one that's for $15 only, I think that's amazing. And sometimes, like I said, you can get them early. Hello. Heather from the future here. So I have a code for you in case you want to try out Book of the Month for the very first time. You can use the code MAY5 at checkout to get your very first month of Book of the Month for only $9.99, which let me tell you is a bargain. So in case you're on the fence about Book of the Month and you're not sure, try it out for a month. Use the coupon code. If you like it, continue with it. If not, it's okay to cancel as well. But either way, it's always good to save money. I always recommend saving money wherever you can. So again, that code is MAY5. I will have it right here as well as in the description box. So if you want to check out Book of the Month, use that code and get your first month for $9.99, which let me tell you is a bargain price. Back to the regular scheduled video. So all in all, things you need to know about Book of the Month. It's totally customizable. You get the five selections at the first of every single month. You get to pick one. You can pick all five of them. You can do whatever you want. You could skip a month. It's totally whatever you want to do. To give you an idea what the box looks like, it comes in one of these and you open it up and voila, there's your book. It'll be wrapped and it'll also have a bookmark with it usually for every single month. But again, I love Book of the Month, would highly recommend them. If you've been interested in Book of the Month and haven't fully committed yet, I would recommend using that code to, I don't get any, I don't get any commission from it. It's just to help you save money, which I always recommend you do. Plus $9.99 is an amazing price for one adult hardcover book, let me tell you. So I'd love to know if you've joined Book of the Month um, and what your favorite genre is to look for every single month from them. I would love to hear. Now I'm going to share with you the five May selections Book of the month. So it's really going to show how different with the selections the book of the month are every single month. There's a plethora of genres this month as there usually is every single month. So I'm going to show you all five of them and hey if you like one of them definitely try to join book of the month today. First selection is this one right here and that is The Boyfriend Project by Farah Roshan. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I should also mention that all the book of the month comes They'll have a color coordinated with the month and it'll also tell you on the back what month you got it. So it says May 2020 as well as when you open up the hardback, it'll have book of the month seal right there as well as on the hardback. So they're, like you can tell when you have a book of the month book, which I love. 
as you can see, again, right behind me. This one is a romance genre book, if you can already guess. This is about a girl named Samaya who really has had a hard time and then she learns that her boyfriend has been catfishing her and he's also been seeing two other girls. And so Samaya and these two other girls team up, they try to take him down, things happen, and then it's all about their year of really trying to find themselves and like swear off love free or really focus on themselves. And then Samaya meets this really hot guy, Daniel, at work and she wonders if she should really break her year of like finding herself because she might be, he might be like an actual decent guy. One sounds right up my alley. Romance is one of my favorite genres of all time. Whenever there's a romance selection on Book of the Month, I immediately go for it. Here's the first selection in Book of the Month for May, a romance one. Next up, we have A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrate. This is a mystery thriller. Again, another one of my favorite genres. You can usually find a thriller every single month with Book of the Month, which I love because I know there's a lot of thriller fans out there. This one is, follows a character named Lizzie who works at a law firm and her marriage is not going good, things like that, and then she gets an unexpected call. It's a call from somebody in prison named Zach and he needs her help. His, well, his wife was found dead at the bottom of their stairs and he is the prime suspect. Only he says that he didn't do it. So Lizzie goes to help him to try to figure things out. She learns things about their tumultuous marriage also while dealing with her own tumultuous marriage. So I've heard a lot of amazing things about Kimberly McCrae. So there's your thriller selection for the month. Next up we have The Knockout Queen by Ruby Thorpe. This one I would say is fiction as all these are but this one may be leaning more towards the literary kind of contemporary side. This one is more character driven I would say. So in case you don't like romance a ton but you like reading about real life things and things like that, this one would be a great selection and it's very very short. The cover is beautiful. This one we follow a character named Bunny who is like the princess of North Shore only things in her life is really not that great. She has a neighbor named Michael who um, is also dealing with a lot of things with his sexuality and things. This is about their story of friendship and things like that and it's really hard hitting and I've heard amazing things about it so I would say this is probably on the literary fiction side. Then we have The Book of Longings by Sue Monk Kidd. This one is historical fiction also kind of in the religious vein as well so in case you're into that. This one is very very interesting in the fact of this is all about Jesus' life and more about Jesus' wife um, named Anna I believe in this book and it says grounded and meticulous research and written with um, approach to Jesus' life that focuses on humanity. It's an inspiring unforgettable account of woman's bold struggle to realize the passion and potential inside of her. So it's very interesting that it's going to talk about religion and really focus on Jesus' humanity as well as his wife which um, is just going to be very interesting. So if you like historical fiction which I don't love historical fiction at time, but this one sounds very, very intriguing. The last book of the month May selection we have is Happy and You Know It by Laura Hankin. This one I would say is contemporary mostly. This one is all about Claire who has this band and then they decide to just split up from her and then they get famous. Claire decides that she's going to be a playgroup musician for wealthy infants on New York's Park Avenue. She starts to really love her job and the moms that are in this playgroup and she gets really familiar with them. They're all dealing with things and as more she gets into this really kind of elite New York mom scene she learns that things aren't so beautiful from the inside as other people think. So it's definitely gonna have like a New York like you know high elite society but secrets and gossip all that kind of stuff are involved in it which sounds really interesting and addicting probably to me. So this one again contemporary I would say. So you have five different genres for one month. You have a romance, you have a mystery thriller, you have a historical fiction, you have a contemporary, then you have like a literary fiction. So you got a wide array of genres to choose from. If I were to pick one a month it would be really hard for me to do either romance or thriller. These two would probably be my ones that I would pick. <laughs> but either way I hope you learned more about book of the month and if you were hesitant to signing up I hope you decide to sign up and try it out. I would love to hear if you do and remember to use the code feel good to get your first month for only $9.99 which is a steal let me tell you so and I would love to hear if you're a member of book of the month what has been your favorite book that you've read from their selections over the years I would love to hear I would say mine might have to be Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I really love that one. It's one of my favorites of all time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching again thank you so much to book of the month for sponsoring this video and I will see you in my next one bye